Hey y'all, my name is Rich. I'm with Cook Your Sticks Northwest. Today we're building this tool and battery and charger station storage unit. Uh, worked out pretty good. It's a good build. Uh, hope you come along with me and see how it's done. That whole box of stuff right there that's going to go on there too. All these whole new set of stuff there. So all in all, that's a pretty good set. I got it on sale as $100 off at the Home Depot. Original price was $350, so I got it for $250. And I bought it. So when looking at these, uh, really nice tool set. It's got the multi settings on the shank of there and drill. Got two speeds, high, low, for drilling. Forward, reverse, of course. So it looks like it's going to be pretty good. The impact, it's a single speed. It does have the light down there in the bottom in the front of it. Forward reverse. I like the grip on them. Pretty comfortable on the hand. I've already got the other battery over in the charger over there. The batteries both have the, the indicators on them to let you know whether they're fully charged or not. Uh, the reciprocating saw, pretty light. That's a little little release right here for the uh, blades to go in. So you set your blade in and let it. And it's got the locking switch and it shows you on top whether it's locked or unlocked. And the switch on that. I'm getting them dirty already. All the dirt on top of my table saw. Then the uh, circular saw, I've got, you got to push that over to pull the trigger and you can push it either, either direction to pull the trigger, so that's a nice safety feature. Got the little Allen wrench right there to change your blade out, so you got to do that. So it shows you the degrees for a bevel on there, it's got little measuring marks on the front there so you can see whether you're off. Cut, cut your uh, whatever what you want to on there. And it has another rule along the side right here, the full distance of this. The length of this is uh, almost 12 inches on there, and of course it's also got the uh, depth collection port on the back end of it right there. And the, uh, the adjustment for the depth of the cut is, is on this right back here, so that's a little different than a lot of saws I've had before. Yeah, I'm kind of anxious to get to playing with these and see how they, how they work out. I think they're going to be great.
not sure I like the plastic guard. It is, it is definitely a plastic guard. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of plastic on a guard, but as long as you don't drop it, I'm sure you'd be all right. As long as I really hard not to ever drop it. I think I'm ready to start assembling this thing now and I got all the parts cut that I, I need. So we'll start with that outside carcass, top of this and the middle shelf here. Put the rock stuff over.
All right, so I got the center section put in. We got a two inch hole drilled inside there. Inch and a quarter down there, and I'm going to put this power strip back behind all that. That was not part of my original. There's where we're at so far. I got all the folders mounted on the bottom down there. Over here is the rest for the uh, skill saw, the rigid skill saw. Got the uh, side pieces are glued on. They're going to dry for a little bit before I can put those on there. Got the uh, power strip. It just kind of sits inside here. So I got a 36 inch bar. Power comes out this side. I had to punch the hole down here. So I got the USB ports here. And I put the USB ports outside this so I can actually get charger set up down here for my GoPro cameras, batteries, and uh, microphones, and uh, my cell phone, and uh, whatever else I might need USB power for, but I want to be able to access those two ports on the end of that power strip. So my little cleat on the front here is not going to work out. It pushes the charger back too far, so I can't get the, uh, the batteries out of the charger. But that's how it's all going to line up right there. That was definitely not part of the plan, but sometimes you just got to change the plan. Life is good. Nothing but life is good. Done. Oh, and the uh, the little thing that I did off site there is I put a little magnetic strip here for my bits and tips and that kind of stuff. 
it is on two 10 inch drawer guides and to be honest with you I kind of screwed up when I cut this this is actually nine and a quarter deep these are 10 inch deep so I had to cut out holes in the back underneath there for both of those drawer guides to stick out so yeah wrapped myself out I screwed up cleats for I'm gonna hang these on French cleat is what they call them and for anybody that doesn't know what a French cleat is basically it's a piece of wood with a 45 degree cut on one side and the opposing piece will have a 45 degree cut on the other side and uh, they, they kind of hang on top of each other so I got those on the wall there so that's the next thing I do got to do is get that hung up on the wall there All right, there it is with all the battery chargers actually working like they're supposed to. Let's put my batteries that are charged up and uncharged. Uh, the jigsaw won't fit in any of the holes, so I'm gonna have to maybe use one of those spots over there on the right hand side for bringing out the jigsaw. Now I got enough room for all the other drills down here so uh, pretty happy about that and get a little place to put my tips and bits and that kind of stuff so that's pretty cool pretty happy about that but oh i was going to do the uh dimensions on everything too find tape measure here here we go So the width across the top of this forty eight inches. Uh, the depth of the top is ten inches, ten inches across the top. Inside the depth, because we got the back for the, the sheeting there is nine and a quarter, because it's quarter inch thick sheet uh, sheeting there. Um, the depth from the inside there to the bottom of the the backing, the back piece is uh, 20 inches. And the back comes all the way down to the bottom of these here. These are three inches tall by the nine and a quarter deep. Those are two and an eighth wide on all of them. This piece right here is three quarter by three quarter by the nine and a quarter deep. This, of course, right here is nine and a quarter deep by just short of uh, six and three quarters, six and three quarters tall to fill this. So uh, that shelf there is right at seven inches from the bottom of this one, seven and three quarters from there to there. And then it is nine and a half wide. Mm -hmm. 
nine and a half by 16. And then whatever you want. All right, so we got that all finished up. The saw's all up there. Actually, got the little box built up on top of there for some storage up there too. My charger for the USB. Place to hang the hammer, my nail hammer for framing. Don't use it very often, but every once in a while I go out and build something. But And you can see that I can't really use anything else down here because of the swing of the Dewalt saw. Just barely misses what is there. Gotta get the cord in the way, of course. So, yeah, put anything else, and this is something really short like that little screwdriver right there. That kind of messes with being able to put anything else down there so so actually it worked out pretty good and i ended up when i had to reset the plug-in strip in the back of this i ended up actually moving this forward a little bit so i can actually get my hand down in behind to reset that if we lose power because trying to lift this off of here to come in from the back side to reset power wasn't going to work out it's it's, it's really kind of heavy and now i got this cabinet on top so and i don't really want to hit my head on that again that kind of hurt so this is a pretty good project i uh, sure enjoyed building I'm, I'm glad you all come along with me and i hope you enjoyed uh what you saw and hopefully you got something out of it and maybe you learned a little something get out and build yourself one or something similar to it for your your shop and have a place to organize your your tools and batteries and chargers and all that makes it a lot easier to, be able to find what you're looking for um, and we will hopefully see you in the next one have a great day